All right, you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It is the Donovan Sadiq Show. We are here, part two of the Daryl Terrell experience, getting to know Daryl Terrell. Um, if you guys missed the first uh, 45 minutes, the first hour, I mean, he was dropping some dimes. I'm talking about information that it makes you, it makes you think and go, hmm, see what's really going on here. So, Daryl, you know, uh, last uh, hour was really was really eye opening for me. You made me think about a lot of things I never thought about before. But you know, you, you're you're the candidate, so you know, uh, you know, tell us a little bit more. Well, yeah, I know many people out here wonder. I hear you see it on social media, you see it in council meetings, you see ask people ask you mm-hmm. that says why do we have so many warehouses in this community? Mm-hmm. And and here's here's the thing I like to share with you guys. You know. You can have the best infrastructure. You can have the best. You can have the best rail lines. You can have um, the cheap. You can have every all the factors that a business will come to. But if you have, but when a business, an industry looks at the labor market for this area, if you don't have an educated, skilled workforce, then you're gonna end up with industries like these warehouses. Because I'm going to share something with you guys. I don't know if you know this. Mm-hmm. The highest education attainment, according to the American uh, Community Survey for 2020, is is a high school education or less than 51%. Now, wow. let that mm-hmm. sink in your head for a minute. Okay. Now, you could ask, because at one of the meetings I went to, I think there was, I think the pro lodges were, you know, they built that, um, what is that, the warehouse over there by the... Auto Mall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I looked at Kavanaugh, and I said, he was the developer. I said, Mr. Kavanaugh, I know why. I don't blame you for bringing this warehouse into our community. Mm-hmm. Because it's not your fault. you only bringing it because it meets your needs. Mm-hmm. You need uh, ed- people that have education or a high school education or less to work those positions. So you, mm-hmm. need, a, you need that skill set. Okay. Now, let me share something for you about other areas. Now, we, we compare. Let's look at her. Let's look at. Let's look at Silicon Valley. I don't just want to shoot. Some, you know where Apple is. Yes. Well, guess guess what the highest education attainment level is there. Well, obviously, it would have to be at least a uh, four year degree. Right. Okay. But four year degree or beyond, beyond. a graduate okay. or professional degree. 44, 44.3%. That's the highest education attainment for that community. So look, when I've been looking through doing my research and I've seen things like Los Altos, graduate professional degree, 50.7%. That's the highest education attainment. You look at places like, um, you can even look at, let me see, Mount P. T. S. I can't even say the word. <laughs> okay. But all these places have bachelor's arts degrees, or higher education levels. They got a very highly educated, skilled workforce. There's not saying nothing wrong about our community, because we can do better. But we have to change the way we do things at the community college level. Mm-hmm. And I've always told, I've, I've been telling you guys for years, that the only way we're going to raise the bar and attract the businesses into our community mm-hmm. is we have to, like I said before, and why I'm running, it's to, it's to create a hybrid, again, a train a apprenticeship training program. And what does that do? We, Me being a trustee at Marino Valley College, working with our city, working with the industries in our community to create a program where we will take uh, people mm-hmm. from that industry to come in to teach, to create the curriculum for the jobs that they have and specifically for that plant. Mm-hmm. And so what we do, we share our resources, we leverage our co- costs. And and what we do, we build it together. We have people going through this program, earn as they learn, and they go right after they get a certificate, then they go right into that position. That's mm-hmm. how you do it. Mm-hmm. Because you have to have that connection. You got to show the business community you could create an educated, skilled workforce. Because if you don't show them, they will continue to bring industries in here like that. Now, there's nothing wrong with that because we got people in our community that 
you know, have a high school education or less. Mm -hmm. And that's it's entry level. We have enough of those, but we need to look higher. Moreno Valley College should be that institution that set our, our sights even higher, beyond the horizon, where we can only dream about of having livable wage jobs in our own background. That's what we have to do. We have to change the way we do things. And that's why I'm running for the, the Board of Trustees to bring the necessary change that will create the career paths that will lead into a livable wage job. So, well, let me ask you this, mm -hmm. though. And I, and I often wonder this. You have all these people on the school boards, and, and maybe I'm just ignorant about the rules, maybe, but you don't see any of these people. I'm not asking people that are on these school boards to come and speak at our city council meetings, but shouldn't some of them at least come every now and then to see what the city is bringing here in regards to jobs for the community so that they can make a better idea of, to prepare the community for those said jobs? I never see a board of trustees. Once they get on the board of trustees, you never see them. You never see them. Well, that's the thing about having interest in your own community. Mm -hmm. For me, you know, fighting the battles that we fought over the years that you have to have skin in the game. And that, to me, I'm not looking at myself. I'm looking at those folks that, like I said, spend, go 34 miles for a job outside of their community, a good-paying job because there's no career path for them. And I think to be at some of those meetings to hear what the facts are, hear what's going on, and, on the, on the, and start asking the questions or saying, hey, how can we work together to build those career paths for the residents that go here mm -hmm. and for the ones who decide they don't want to go to a four-year school but don't want to live don't want to live in poverty the rest of their life. Right. I think it, Or live at home with their mama and yes. the whole you know, three generations of uh, yes. family. Because cause any person should have an interest in community colleges. I, You know, people tell me all the time, they say, oh, what's RCC? You know, what yeah, is, what a, is that? What is that? It's the Riverside Community College District. You so, oh, RCC? Oh, that's community college? Hey, that's the best thing money can buy right now because the fact you don't go into debt. If you go, you know, take your lower division, then you transfer over, it mm -hmm. save you a lot of money. But at right. the same time, if you don't want to go to a four-year school, there's a career path for you to get you a livable wage job in our community. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's the thing about Moreno Valley College. It's supposed to be economic mobility. Really? That's the key word people need to say when they see me, economic mobility, because that's what a trustee is supposed to do. Not only trying to, um, you don't micromanage, mm -hmm. but what you do, you set a vision, a vision. And you got to think outside of the box in that thinking. And that's what we have to do. Okay. Well, you know, um, you know, and the reason, I, the reason I brought that up is, is because it seems like to me people use these school boards as a stepping stone to higher political office. Once again, we have a, a congressman that doesn't basically give a shit and was on the RCC school, was a trustee, Mark Takano. He was a, a trustee. And yet, if you look at his actions, he doesn't do anything in regards for the, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say that because I don't know that for a fact. But I have to go by perception and, and what I see. Mm -hmm. I don't see him bringing home the bacon uh, for uh, the community in itself. He does a lot for the uh, LGBTQ community, which he's a part of. And, you know, I'm not against that. But what about the rest of us? Well, you know, for, you know, for, for as me, you know, I, I've always thought, thought about, again, I ran for RCC board twice. I've ran for the Moreno Valley Unified School District. I ran for city council. And I ran for mayor. It, but the reasons are... Again, I put it in perspective. Oh, and by I, the way, when you ran for mayor, uh, I think you garnered like 6,000 something votes. Yeah. Yeah, you did really well. Well, I, I, you know, I thank the you public really? and I thank, mm -hmm. I thank people that helped me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that made that possible. Because in the day, I'm not a rich person. So right. we had to do what we had to do yeah. to get the message out. But mm -hmm. to going back to your question, when you think about, again, about people. See, my position is this. is to get elected. And do what I can in four years mm -hmm. to build those career paths. And not to look beyond the next election or anything else. I'm not using it to go to a higher place. I'm not running to just to be elected. Or something. I'm doing something because I believe co-heartedly that our people should have a chance to live their American dream. They should have every tool 
possible. And I see Marino Valley College as that tool to create that pathway. Economic mobility, because jobs that we come in our community, they need economic mobility. You got dead-end jobs that lead you to nowhere or to be a victim of a check cashing place. <laughs> right, exactly. Check cashing place, <laughs> a... Uh, a what the mother uh, payday loan payday places, loans and um, and become a victim auto t- idle title loans yes and exactly mm-hmm. and so when you see the CTA the career tech education mm-hmm. book and there's not a lot of those livable wage pathways in there that makes you think that something has to change it is not lip service because you can get the book yourself and look and see what Reno Valley College has it has nothing when it comes to Building construction trade. It has nothing when it comes to electrical, engineering, right. or or uh, automotive, or fixing an air conditioner, yeah. plumbing. I'm naming all the trades that you could take and don't go into debt. And also, we could create the partnership with um, the trade community, building trade community, mm-hmm. to create what we call a, a apprenticeship preparedness readiness program. Mm-hmm. So, if the, when a person finishes that program. They'll be eligible working with the building trades to go into apprenticeship. Then after going through apprenticeship, they go through to be a journeyman where they make the real bucks like you were saying before. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. I mean, that's why I have a passion so hardly about Marino Valley College and the college because I am an alumnus mm-hmm. that graduated and I saw the benefit. But also I see now that we have to do something more. We got to do better than creating career paths, which we have lacked. Mm, mm, mm. You, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we and Daryl were talking earlier and, you know, we were talking about the homeless issue and the mental uh, illness that's out there in, in America. It's very prevalent in America nowadays as people are. Uh, Demetra and I did a show today where it's projected in the next three months over four million people will be evicted and face homelessness. They're facing it right now because they didn't pay their rent during the during the pandemic, unfortunately, and now they're facing a mass eviction. Now, how many people out there that, that, if you guys are listening to us right now, how many of you guys know somebody who has a psychology degree? I know a bunch of people who have psychology degrees and they're working at Target or they're working for the airlines or they're working at an attorney's office or whatever. They're not working in the field of uh, psychology. Now, if we have all these, you know, because people say, well, Donna, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I just think about stuff. You got all these people that have psychology degrees. You can't build with a psychology degree, but you know people got it because it's a yeah. degree to get, and so supposedly it's an easy degree to get. Whatever. We've got all this mental illness in the United States. Yeah, a person has a psychology degree, Daryl, mm-hmm. but to be a psychologist, you have to be licensed. Yes. So, like you were just saying, in a program at the school. Why don't we have programs? And I know we're dealing with RCC, but, but even but let's just talk yeah. university yeah. in general. Yeah, that's okay. but, but even at RCC, if I'm an automotive person, I want to be a certified automotive uh, person. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to get certified, which costs more money and probably takes more time. It's like being a beautician at RCC. Okay, yeah. They, they teach you everything you need to know. You got all the credits. You got all the hours, right? Yeah. Now you got to go take your state test. How much does that cost? Blah, 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 blah. So what, so what I'm pr- pr- trying to say is you got a lot of people that have certain degrees, but to be in that field, they have to be certified, which costs more money and more time. Mm-hmm. So speaking as you know, a person that has a psychology degree, I don't have a psychology degree. Mm-hmm. Think about all of those people who could go into business for themselves because you don't have to go join a clinical psychologist firm or, you know, or a hospital or nothing like that. If you're a licensed psychologist... You can open your own business right there because you're licensed, right? So, yeah. you know, programs like that, where, where are those programs? Well, see, that's the thing about, again, about uh, collaborations. That's mm-hmm. what we have to do more of. It's not just, just, just give someone a certificate and say, hey, blah, 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 or whatever. Mm-hmm. But we have to work with that tangible and say, hey, you know what? You want to get your, uh, your, take your test? Then maybe we should, as a district, help that person do that mm-hmm. and that means paying their fees we have to mm-hmm. grants or whatever we have to do to make it a easier for them to to get their uh, licenses because mm-hmm. sometimes fees becomes a hindrance 
for a person to go right. get a pursue, a, t- right. a pursue a thing like that. So, you know, I'm tired of paying fees. Mm-hmm. But what if what if the college or where we could get some um, firm or somebody to come in to link up and say, hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. We we'll work with you to Amen. to waive those fees. We'll we'll pay it. So don't worry about it. all you have to do is go in there and study. Don't worry about anything of mm-hmm. we study, got your fees. Right. Pass the Boom. test. And we have a job waiting for you. Exactly. Wow. So we have to do more partnerships with, with the private sector in, in those fields. See, like I said, those fields out there. Like you you have the medical, you mm-hmm. have um, folks like that that could do that. The mm-hmm. county hospital the county government mm-hmm. could, could step in and 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 use their say for instance um It'd whoever like on the board of supervisors that got discretionary funds that right. can use that money to help help a student who wants to be a psychiatrist or mm-hmm. mental because they who knows they might hook up with the um, with the county and provide medical well, well what about, I mean a mental well, well what about this we, people talk about in law enforcement uh-huh. You know, and it's funny how people like you, you uh, like like you and myself, we think about things all the time. Obviously, you have a mind that's kind of like mine, where you're constantly thinking. Yeah. Um, law enforcement. Okay, unfortunately, law enforcement is tasked with mental health issues to yes. solve them, and the way they solve them, and in some some cases, not all cases, with a gun. Unfortunately, so here's your answer to getting people licensed. Straight into a job, they can go work. And we're going to get the uh, the licensed people to do all this. You've got people that have degrees; they're just not licensed. So now, yeah. so now, here I am saying, okay, I'm a police officer that's making eighty thousand dollars minimum plus overtime, which is almost a six figure salary with a high school diploma. Mm-hmm. I'm a policeman charged with a gun with a high school diploma, and I'm making more than somebody who has a two year or even a four year degree. Okay, but the police field is not for everybody. But we know policemen are not clinicians or they're, they're not uh, people who are psychologists and stuff like that. So whenever I hear a police chief or a police person make the excuse of, well, where are we going to get these people? They're there. We just, hey, you can go we'll work for the police department. Yeah. You can create that path. You can create, like I said, another mm-hmm. partnership where, just like you said, they hook, hit, that, mm-hmm. hit the connection so they can help, so they could have the task of dealing with situations like that where right. they Mental don't help. have to. Right. Uh, you know, being involved in it and have them... Mental illness person yeah. come in there that's a professional, yeah, professional that says, hey, I'm certified with the police department yes. and I'm going to go on patrol with you if yeah. there's a mental issue situation so that you don't see these homeless people being killed in the streets and these uh, people who might be on dope uh, freaking out or crack or whatever being shot down in the street. Well, that's what kind of program at the, yeah, the county uh, mental health because mm-hmm. I've been served on the commission for the past eight years. Yes, yeah. And yeah. and one of the things that we've been working on is like, well, not that aspect, but that's mm-hmm. a different, that's an aspect that that's a good idea mm-hmm. to bring to their attention, attention. Is, is to have the clinicians to continue because we have one team right now in Moreno Valley, a police officer and a clinician. Mm-hmm. Clinician. Mm-hmm. Yeah, working together. And but we need more, than more, that. more, way more. And uh, so, I mean, what you're saying is what we have to do. And again, the county can chip in and say, you know what, we'll take care of those fees that you have to. We want you to get pass your test so we can hire you so you can go along with our police officers. Thank you, absolutely. To provide the 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 care that that person needs. might need in a situation yes. where that person isn't gunned down for yes. no apparent reason. And then you got to think about the psychological effort of that officer yeah. who maybe for the first time yes. had to draw their gun. Yes. And, you know, and I'm going to tell you, it's a hell of a thing uh, taking a man's life because you take all he's got, all he will ever have. Yes. And, it, you know, and we lose a lot of police officers psychologically because the realization that they have taken a life. Um, let, me, let me swing another question to you real quick okay. I, because I know this is your segment, but... Oh. My very first degree I ever received was an associate degree from Vincennes University. Have you heard of it? Vincennes. It's one of the oldest universities in the United States. Vincennes, uh, Indiana. Okay. That's, that's where the school's okay. based at. Vincennes, in Indiana. Uh, President Polk was okay. uh, found where well, he was at the school. I'm not sure. Uh-huh. I can't remember if he founded it or not, but I know he was like the uh-huh. serving guy that uh-huh. was there or whatever. Now, Vincennes University is known as a two-year college. Mm-hmm. But certain programs that they do there at Vincent's University is now a four-year degree. You bring you bring a uh, 
a question that something I would I would pursue. I'm gonna tell you something. Okay, there we go. I, so, I, thought, I thought you might be familiar with it. Well, here, here's something. You know, in California, I don't know how many of you out there know in California, uh, community colleges can't offer a bachelor program, bachelor's uh, bachelor yeah. program, mm-hmm. and on certain workforce development type of uh, areas. Like we have dental health. Mm-hmm. And see, here's the thing. Here's a, here's a caveat on this thing. The cap is at $10,000 if you wanted that degree. But mm-hmm. the thing is, right in our own backyard, we have uh, dental dental health, uh-huh. a good dental health school. Okay. We can, have a, we can have a bachelor's program at that. Did you know that? I did. A lot of people didn't know that. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, community college of California can't offer a bachelor's of what whatever. You, yeah, the mm-hmm. bachelor's. Let's just say bachelor's degree. Okay, bachelor's degree. They can offer that, but they on certain certain areas that that we that we are missing. Mm-hmm. So, like, look at the nursing areas that I, when I mean missing mm-hmm. is the need, the need that missing a need in our community. So mm-hmm. there are certain areas I've done the research. There are certain workforce areas mm-hmm. like dental health. I think is I think you can do offer nursing. Mm-hmm. I think there's several others that you. Can offer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go check. Okay, yeah, as, as, as yeah, we, fact as, check as, that, as, yeah. As, but, as we speak, yeah. But you know, but you know, but think about that though. Uh, you could do certain that. programs, yeah. Because the Vincent, it's still known as a two-year junior college, but certain programs they are giving out four-year degrees. Well, that, like I said, that's something I would like to do. And, and just think, if I, I'm a person here, mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm already situated with RCC, depending on what field I'm going into. Yes. Why should I have to transfer to another college to, to do a program that I started at RCC if that per program could be certificated and offered a, a degree at where I'm at already? You, you, like I said, you can do it. Mm. You, mm. you can do it. It's legal in California. You can do it. Okay. We'll you see. could do uh, Let me. I'm just. Um, but um, you can do that. That's one of the things I think that... A lot of people don't know of that you can, but it's mm-hmm. capped at Jerry Brown signed it and Governor Newsom signed the he signed the, the bill into law that mm-hmm. there's certain like I said, certain fields. Once I find it, I could tell you exactly what the fields are. Okay. Okay. But um you can but, Yeah, but but isn't it funny how how nobody that, that's currently on that board that nobody talks about this stuff. Well, and, it, and and it exists. Well, yeah, that's what I say. I, I, I knew about it a long time because I, <laughs> I knew about it a long time ago. I just, right. I just like I said, you have to do, you know, do your research mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and stuff, and um, to. So, so you know, just in layman's terms, you know, you know uh, if okay. you, when you find it, you find it. Um, if you were on the board right now, would that be something that you would be interested in uh, putting to the board to? A hundred and ten percent, and the reason I say that because. It puts Moreno Valley College in a different horizon mm-hmm. because it makes our, our our college more prestigious because we offer programs that meets the needs in our community, mm-hmm. like dental programs and nursing right. and um, critical skilled yes. areas. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you know universities can't, don't do masonry or right. they community colleges are unique because they offer. Um, more workforce development type of things, mm-hmm. like like you say, construction, mm-hmm. welding, plumbing, right, and things like right. that. But you, you can do it. Okay, you can do it. I'm trying to. I'm looking as we speak. Okay, well, uh, tell us. Uh, oh, here's one. Okay, here you go. It says, let me see, a bachelor's of look at this, bachelor's <laughs> arts in bachelor's of science in nursing. That's mm-hmm. one. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration. There you go. Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration. Oh, Lancaster has one. Bachelor of Science in Airframe Manufacturing Technology. Yes, absolutely. Here's one, Bakersfield College. Mm-hmm. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Automation. Then, wow, wait, logistics. Wait, wait now, let, let me get this straight. <laughs> Bakersfield, which has a population nowhere near what we have, uh-huh. give out bachelors in those certain programs that, that you yeah. might, might have listed. That they're doing it. Yeah. But here in Moreno Valley College, RCC School District, mm-hmm. 
we don't give out bachelor's degrees, no, we, even we though don't. we have even though we have the population that might want to pursue oh, those fields. This will be a game changer. Mm -hmm. I, I did the research because I called. I wanted to find out, so I called the the California Community College District mm -hmm. up in Sac Sacramento, mm -hmm. and they don't. We don't offer stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We have to meet certain criteria, but if we meet these criteria, we should be offering it. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, we have to assess and make sure that we have people that want to do it, mm -hmm. but we should make it available and put it out there to people that you can you can earn a Bachelor's of Science in these fields. I'm telling you again, Angeles College in Los Angeles, California, mm -hmm. Bachelor's of Arts and Business Administration, Bachelor's of Science in Healthcare Administration, mm -hmm. Bachelor of Science in, in Nursing, Lancaster and Antelope Valley mm -hmm. College, Bachelor of Science in Airframe Manufacturing. What we wow. got in our backyard, we got warehouses, yep. logistics, we could we could qualify for something like that. Oh, they got one here. Cypress College, Bachelor of Science in Funeral Services. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, there's always gonna be people passing away. Yeah, but see, that's the point. That's the that's the kind of thinking the kind of trustee that I will be is the one to be pragmatic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a pragmatic approach. Now, now, now let me ask you this. Now <clears throat> unfortunately in a democracy a lot of people we elect people like yourselves, and then we go away until the next election. <clears throat> you know, we leave it in your hands, and we say, okay, he's got it. I found out in the years from the WLC wars and going to city council meetings, it takes more than just electing a public servant to represent our thing. So let's say you're up there, and, Darryl, and, you, and you're doing the fight to get us a yeah. bachelor's thing. Don't you believe that it takes the people behind you also to help you push that agenda through? Yes. There has to be a buy-in. So, mm -hmm. so my thing is this. Because, I mean, you can't be in the board and be like, oh, yeah, this is what I want to do. But if you had a thousand people in the room yeah. saying, yes, this is what we want. We yeah. need this in there, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. Doesn't that make your case a lot better? Yes, it does. I, I agree with you. Because mm -hmm. it has to be, when I look at I get I get so excited about things like this because <laughs> these are tangible things that can, can be a reality for our district. Our but community. you're right, but it takes a team effort. Mm -hmm. It takes all of us in this community one end of from Edgemont to yeah. Reno Valley Ranch to Sedimy Ranch, all of us to work together to to buy into a program which will lift our community and college to a different level when it comes to higher education, a more highly quality education. Right, but but the thing is though, yeah. you're there as a public servant. Yeah. If a thousand people and the and the the people are demanding we want like okay for me I come from the aeronautical world uh -huh. and everybody wants aeronautics we're like yes that's a great program we want to do it blah 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 and there's there's uh, support for it yes shouldn't you guys make that a reality once you're sitting on that board yes I agree because it's our tax dollars no I we're the agree ones paying for it, I that's agree. what we want if, if we want to okay ladies and gentlemen I'm just being uh, hypocritical mm -hmm. here or not hypocritical but I'm being kind of joking and stuff like that but if if the students wanted pole dancing classes, okay, stripper pole dancing okay. classes at the college. We are paying for this, this kind of stuff. This is yeah. our tax yeah. dollar, and this mm -hmm. is what we want. Yes, I got you. Isn't it your job to make that happen, especially if you've got the support for it? In general, yes. Okay. In general. Right. Me, me knowing the process and meeting the criteria that we have to and, and explain, that's the thing about buying into mm -hmm. those type of programs. They're bringing those kind of uh, programs, courses to our school, mm -hmm. is that we have to buy, have a buy-in from the community and, and let them know, say, hey, okay, this is this is the process of how this is supposed to happen. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we go into things not knowing what the process yeah, is. Yeah, how it works. So to know what the process is and explain, me as an elected official, to explain to, to my fellow resident or mm -hmm. student, Taxpayer, your bosses, bosses is mm -hmm. to let you guys know. Okay, here's the process. This is how it goes, and this. So this is what we have to do first, and explain, and to then say this is how it's going to benefit our community. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. So we gotta we gotta make it transparent so everybody will know. Because something like I said, sometimes the biggest thing is sometimes we want things, but we don't know the process. Right, we don't know how to get them. But by me being an elected official, I would know the process. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you guys, this is how this is how it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So we need all your support. We need people going to ride high with it, though. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't just say rah 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 then then yeah. drop off and right. maybe one person shows up. Right. We need people to be persistent. If you really are passionate about 
a course that you want or a, a program you want, then you have to, like you said, be part of the process, the democratic yeah. process of laying out the, the roadmap, how are we going to get yeah, there? exactly, especially the students. Yes. You know, if the students it's really the, want it and there's yeah. enough students that uh, want it, it should be put on the... Yeah, and, and the students, that's the thing is, sometimes we, sometimes we forget about the students, mm -hmm. what they want. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's what the... The powers to be one. But, right, right. But, and, and, and we're coming from a 1980s perspective when yeah. we were kids or when yeah. we went to school. Yeah. Uh, right now, a lot of these kids, what are they doing right now? TikTok. Where's the TikTok programming you know, in the school curriculum? Yeah. To, and, and when I mean TikTok, like video editing and stuff like that, they, you know, the, the, yeah. the stuff that, that the kids are into yeah. today, if that's right. what they want to do. Because they're making money and becoming entrepreneurs Yeah. Doing YouTube videos, yeah, doing they this are. and doing that and doing that. But if you go to that thing, you got a generic computer program, you know, computer well, course. You that, know? That's what I'm talking about. It's reflecting what's out there now. Mm -hmm. right. And like you said, TikTok or YouTube. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of YouTubers. Right. And Snapchat, just, all yeah. stuff like that. And they say, hey, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm a YouTuber. You are. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they tell me what they, you know, they edit and like you're talking about. Right. Like where I work at, there's a guy who does, he does a lot of, uh, footage cameras and all yeah, that stuff. Exactly. Video taping. Maybe. I mean, you know, um, uh, production things. Uh, there you go. Like for music. You got kids that are very, that like music and they're doing whatever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you young people that are listening to this. I'm sorry. I don't get your music. I, I don't, I'm not in the mumble rap. I'm not in the mumble. I mean, where's the R&B, damn it? Where's yeah. the R&B? Well. But, <laughs> but again, you yeah, know, yeah. There, are, there are kids that want a, a, a musical thing. I have yet to see Anywhere in the RCC school schooling district where they have a engineering program so that people can produce demo tapes and, you know, and get into the music. And I, I could be wrong because it's been a lot of years, but maybe they have. I don't know. Well, see, like I said, again, a lot of these things are in other colleges. Yeah. Like I said, in RCC or Norco. Uh -huh. And so when we look at our when we look at our stuff, we are lacking a lot of things that other schools have. And they mm -hmm. says, well, well, we're supposed to be. I say, yeah, I understand that, but same thing, same time though, if we're independent, we our courses, our programs should reflect what's out there. Like I say, what's like you're just saying, the editing, the engineering, mm -hmm. the, the 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 programs that reflected what's out there in our community, the mm -hmm. industries out in our community, the YouTube and the the yeah, I see your, right. your ring lights, mm -hmm. and ring all, lights this stuff. all that stuff, right? They know how to home edit. production, home yeah, exactly, home production, things like that. I mean. That's the thing. We have to get our fair share of resources. That's mm -hmm. why I keep telling people. Fair share of resources don't mean that you're against the other schools. What you mean, you're looking out for folks in our community who have to travel 34 miles to go get a livable wage job. Mm -hmm. We want our fair share. We're a family, yes, but we need our fair share, too. Right, right. And, and um, that's what I'm fighting for. You know, and whenever I, I look at YouTube, you know, I'm watching the young people, which I don't understand. I don't understand. You young people, I don't understand what you're doing personally, but... I'm not against it because, like I said, when I was in my era, my parents didn't understand me. So in our generation, what we're doing, we're doing hip hop, you know, real hip hop, you know. So but uh, when I listen to the kids, especially on YouTube, the young people on YouTube, young adults, uh, they're talking about travel, the travel industry. Yeah. I want to travel. Get a pass, but I want to travel. Where where are these travel industry? You know, what if I want to be a, a flight attendant? What if I want to be a travel uh, agent or a gate agent or whatever to get those benefits to go to the airlines? I would be more successful to be able to work for the airlines if I know uh, city codes and, you know, the basic gate yes. agent. To, we have Ontario right down the street here. Exactly. Ontario. That feeds right into having an aviation program, like you were mm -hmm. saying, uh, mm -hmm. uh, aeronautical program. Right. That does that encompasses the whole aspect, not just piloting yeah. and mechanics. It's, you could also do the travel part of it, the leisure part of yeah. it, uh, flight attending, ATC. Yeah. Such and such and such and such. And you have one major program. And you make a lot of good money in there. Yes, program. and people love to travel to these exotic places. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I said, when I was at, when I was working in Lowe's uh, uh, yesterday, let's see, not, uh, yesterday mm -hmm. I was talking to some people about things like we were talking talk to our Air Force uh, uh, officer. Yeah, we yeah. were talking about that. But also, like I said, when you when you when when they bring things out, I say, hey, I like to do that. I said, when I'm... When I'm elected to the mm -hmm. RGC board, I would like to have an aviation program so folks don't have to go so far off San to Rodino, San Rodino or Mount Sac. Sac and, mm -hmm. and uh, 
Cal Baptist. Yeah, Cal Baptist, Orange Cause Press. Because we, we got all this. We have this in our backyard. Right, right here. It's all here. Yeah. If we, if they let us, March let us do it, we could, we could do well, it. Well, even if March doesn't, you know, we yeah. still have the resources exactly. of Air Force people that live right in this area. Yeah. Reservists that go there Monday through Friday and yeah. twice on the weekends. There you go. UTAs. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Thinking outside of the box, mm-hmm. but be, it's more pragmatic, but it's looking at your surroundings. Mm-hmm. It's like looking around you and just like you are saying about the traveling. Mm-hmm. All this is reflective of what community college should be doing is reflecting what's in the community. Not what happened so many years ago, right. but what's, what industries are happening right now because mm-hmm. it's going to get even more and more sophisticated. Yeah. So we got to have a training program, apprenticeship program that I'm talking about that could fit each of the new incoming industry so we'll be prepared for it well you know uh, another part that i, I kind of want to uh, let everybody know and, and you guys might be surprised at this is another program see i think and I, I sit and i think all the time that's why my brain keeps swelling mm-hmm. drones yeah where's our drone program so if, you, if you're talking about that aviation program that we should have yeah. what's uh, a lot of you guys that don't don't know march air, air reserve base is a drone training facility yeah. the air national guard the 163rd they are a schoolhouse for the drone and predator makeup so let's say i'm a young person coming out of uh, moreno valley high school or, and canyon springs or whatever i join the reserves and i go to rcc part-time or let, i don't even join the reserve i just go to rcc right as a student yeah. or moreno valley i'm not yeah. rcc moreno valley yeah and they have a drone piloting program, which is an FAA certified program to fly drones. How many of you guys know you're not even supposed to fly drones around a military air installation within a certain height and, and, and field? But that's a skill that the military wants people to have. There you go. See, that's that's another thing that uh, that it, it, it's a reflection of what's going on in, in your in your community. Exactly. I mean, things that that can help out the community at the same time, make you money, mm-hmm. and and, cert- and meet the needs of that industry. Right, Again, exactly. that's what that's what we talk about: meeting the needs of an industry. Right, right. And and like again, people may not want to, you know, choose not to go, but they don't deserve to live in poverty. poverty. And mm-hmm. so, what Donovan is saying is the kind of um, vision. That's what my sign will say. Whenever mm-hmm. it gets some signs, it will say <laughs> alumnus building career paths for the future. Future, that's what future. That's keyword, about. future. So what we are talking about is exactly what I will do as a trustee. Mm-hmm. It's pragmatic approaches, not theoretical approaches, not some bland puff piece. Mm-hmm. It's something that you guys can grab with your hands. It's tangible mm-hmm. that you can Go out there and earn and make a good living off of, mm-hmm. and and don't, and don't put you in debt. Right, right. That's what that's what we have to do. Because a lot of times I want people to go to, if they want to go to four year. I'm going to support them. Make sure they have the classes. Make sure they have the books they need, the resources they need to be successful. But all that in, I'm not going to forget about the folks that say, you know what, I. College ain't for me, me, but I don't want I don't want to live in poverty the rest right. of my life. Right, because we, we have found out that uh, what our parents taught us, yeah. getting a degree is going to better your life. That's not always the case. And yeah. some people, I, it is the case. Yes. The majority of us, that was not the case, and that yeah. was a lie. So, but, 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 but put it like this. If you look at a lot of jobs, especially like on the county websites or stuff like that, what's the first thing that, that, that they say when they do the application? You might have to minimum associate degree to apply minimum bachelor's degree to apply mm-hmm. master's degree so what we're saying you guys especially young people that are listening to this program we're not saying that a degree is not important it is very important yes, it, gets, it, is. it gets you the interview it gets your foot in yes. to the door so you know it can't hurt i mean you're young go ahead and get that degree why not but it but what we're saying is it doesn't necessarily mean what our parents taught us yes. that you're going to have a better life because a lot of them didn't have Degree didn't, a lot of them didn't even go to college. Some of them didn't even finish high school. But in their day, they can still do that and, you know, support a family and stuff like that. It's a different time and era. Yeah. You and, know? and that's that's a that's a good point because, again, um, things are different. Mm-hmm. The times are different. And, some, and here's something. Here's a statistic that some of you guys, I don't know if you ever heard. Mm-hmm. Some of your good paying jobs... Doesn't require you yep. to have a four-year degree, mm-hmm. but you got to have an uh, education beyond high school yeah. with less than a four-year degree. Yes. And do you know a lot of those, half of those good-paying jobs are in STEM-related 
uh, fields. Wow. They I use it that. like uh, that. construction, yeah, yeah. medical, manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Guess what in our community we got? We got all that. all those in our community, mm -hmm. but no career paths to get there. Right. So it, that's my whole thing. I want to, we're going to work together. Because, mm -hmm. again, it's, it's not just me alone. It's all of all us. All of us. Because City Hall has to be a part of it. The high school district has the yeah. Marino Valley High the Marino Valley school Unified district. School mm -hmm. District has to be a part of it, and the industry, the high growth industries out there, has to be part of this because everybody in this community, you deserve to to live your American dream. Absolutely, and you should have a career path to get there, not just a simple paper that says "Thank you for playing <laughs> and <laughs> trying to find your job." Yeah. Participation trophy. <laughs> and how, what is it they say? Uh, you 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 pray that you're gonna get a job, right? Right. And you don't get a jack. Right. So you end up at McDonald's right. or somewhere. Or, 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 or getting an EBT card yeah. with $150 yeah. just to make sure you don't starve. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. But my friends, we deserve better. You deserve better. Yeah. You deserve better. When you go to Marino Valley College or RCC or Norco, you deserve to have something tangible. When you get that certificate or you go through a training apprenticeship program, what I like to put together, you will have a job. If you don't get that job, then you should get your money back. Mm, Certainly. I love that. That way, a guaranteed, guaranteed. that you don't get it. But right. You don't lose a thing. You don't lose a thing. But time. Yes. Yeah. There you go. You know, but, you know, your time. But, but you're young, so you can afford to lose yes. your time. But you're my yeah. age, you can't do that. But yes, that's but, right. But, but with three minutes to go, let, let, let's talk about something real, real, okay. real, real local. Uh, I recently found out that the, we have a truck stop. Well, what is your thoughts on that? Truck size again? Well, well, it's kind of like truck. It's by that new Arco. So I, I would consider a truck stop because you got snacks. You can go get yeah. snacks, and they can fuel up. It's not like a regular uh, car fueling station where the truck is like taking up three lanes. You know to do it. They actually built a uh, diesel refueling station at that new Arco right there on Cactus. Well, what are your, what are your thoughts on it? Well, okay. Again, it's about looking at looking in your surroundings, looking mm -hmm. in your environment. What's the reflection? Mm -hmm. Well, you got warehouses everywhere. So you need a place, like you said, at one time that you years. Need a truck I've been stop. saying it for years that that they need to have a truck stop where they could build, where they could fix the truck. Somebody could get some food or rest mm -hmm. and everything else. But but here's the thing too. See, you see all these hotels building yes. up here. Mm -hmm. But see again, do you have do you have a career path if you want to fix the trucks, right. the tires, right? Again, transmission Valley, again. Economic mobility. You need support systems. And that that's a cluster. When you look mm -hmm. at a refueling station, a refueling station, mm -hmm. it's a cluster. It's related to the trucking industry. Absolutely. So when you have a medical, then you start bringing clusters. But when you have a college out there, Marina Valley College, mm -hmm. you can you can attract those kind of clusters that pay a livable wage. Mm. So so people got to remember, Marino Valley College is the key to our economic revival. Not only that, but to take us to a higher level. Wow. To, to a world we only could dream of. Mm, 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 That's I why I see it. Marino Valley College. That's why I see RCCD. We can yeah. do a lot better. I love it. I love it. I love it. Daryl Terrell, like I said, you've you're always been an idea man. You got my vote. You know, not because you know we, we've been friends for a long time. Well, I thank you. But, but the, the, the thing is, you, you're always thinking outside the box, and that's what we need. And you mean what you say, and you say what you mean. Real quickly before we go, I know you don't like to throw mud and stuff like that because you're not really concerned about your opponent. You're, you're concerned about getting the message out there, which is very important. And you want to get on that board and, and do it. But your opponent... Do you think that she is thinking of ideas like that? Because right now she's been silent. The the uh, election is going right now. Yes. We, you know, we're, the campaign is on. Yes. And we haven't heard one thing from Dr. Thin. Well, I mean, she has to present, again, her ideas. Mm -hmm. Her ideas and whatever, what's important to, not her, but what she feels is important to the di for the district. Mm -hmm. But... When I look at what I'm fighting for, what I see in front of us, I'm fighting for people's livelihoods. I'm fighting for people who sometimes want to give up. See, what, I, what I'm fighting for and what I'm putting out there to the public is giving people a reason to hope that you will be able to live your American dream and have access to a livable wage job in this community. Mm. Mm -mm. And, and I don't. No, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, like I said, I 
um, uh, Dr. Dead, I, you know, I don't know where she stands on anything, but mm-hmm. I, I tell you this, I'm for you people, and I will continue to fight for you to make sure you have a chance at, a, at the American dream. I promise you that. That's one thing I will promise. I will fight for you. Continue. Amen. All right, you guys. That is my man, Daryl Turbulence. See you next week. Next week, we are going to be on a video cast. So look forward to see you guys next week. <laughs>